Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to create a horizontal bar graph in Stata. In order to do so we will load the census 13 data set that comes pre-built in Stata using this command web use and just to remind you it's a data set about the demographic characteristics of states including birth rate, population uh, and so forth sorted by region and some other variables and what I'd like to do today is create a horizontal bar graph of population sorted by region. Now, before I create the horizontal bar graph, I'm going to show you the default, which is vertical, using this code here. Let me highlight that for you. It's graph bar, which we can think of as, uh, you know, here is where you're going to put h bar in a minute, just so you know. Uh, followed by your dependent variable or your variable of interest population over region. So let me type in the other code right below that so you can see it. So bar just became h bar for horizontal bar. And so now we went to this. So we went from vertical orientation to a horizontal orientation here. Um, one more thing that you can do using the horizontal bar that's pretty useful is you can alter the color scheme here. Um, here I've put in S1 mono which is kind of grayscale. So if you're working with APA for example that could be a useful command to enter. Uh, once again if you start the graph editor you can exercise really pinpoint control over every element of this graph. You can change these label names and sizes. You could identify a specific uh, graph over here, a specific bar, and change its color if you wanted. You could change this text over here. Um, so you can do so many things from there that we really won't cover them in this tutorial. I encourage you though to learn more by opening up the graph editor and playing around. Once you have your uh, horizontal bar graph in Stata, open that up and, and see what you can do. Uh, change label names, change colors, and you'll get a much better, richer sense of how Stata can customize that graph for you. In closing, I'd like to just quickly note that the bar graph and the horizontal bar graph are not going to be very useful for analytical purposes. You're missing confidence intervals, you're missing outliers, and so I would recommend that you look at commands like a CI plot, uh, commands like the box plot in Stata to get the kinds of graphs that are more appropriate for statistical, for quantitative analysis. That being said, it is of course useful to know how to create a bar graph and a horizontal bar graph. When you are creating graphics for, say, a non-technical audience, uh, you just want to just quickly convey the sense of how something is distributed and you are dealing with a population, an audience that doesn't know you know what confidence intervals are or is confused by that kind of thing the bar graph and horizontal bar graph functions are pretty easy alternatives to use there I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews and Minitab here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.